started. <laughs> Nidork. <laughs> okay. Play on Nidorf, I guess. Let's see. Uh, how about um, Knight F3? I haven't played that in a while. And it will stop him from playing a Knight F. He played D6, so he could play E5. Let's see, so I could follow up with the D4. And uh, get a Fianchetto set up here. I don't know if D and 4 is consistent with this, but I, I kind of wanted to slow down or stop the move uh, E5 here, harassing the knight. Yes, I can play C4 and go to and get into kind of a Catalan. And it's nice to get the pawn advanced before you develop the knight. Then Castle, and this is um, a Fianchetto set up against uh, some kind of King's Indian or modern defense. So always a little tricky to play these. I don't know which, which pawn is ultimately going to get pushed. At some point you want to push one of these pawns forward and try and open up some lines in the center. And um, white is a little better developed at this point. Black has got his pieces back here, so... Maybe just continue to <clears throat> claim space in the center and, and think about the move uh, e5. e5 would try and shut down his bishop. Okay, so black played e5 first. Now I can take pawn takes. Not that attractive. Um, I might push on. This is defended well enough, I guess, for the moment. e4. He can try and maneuver his knight around and, and gang up on my e4 pawn. Except he just put a pawn there. Oh, but maybe knight knight d7 to c5 to attack. e4 is an idea. Um, so I can um, maybe play this move h3 to stop a piece from coming to uh, g4. It would be annoying to get a pin on that knight. And then I can play my bishop here, and if he kicks it, the bishop can drop back to um, e3. I can't go back this way because it'll get trapped, although <clears throat> you can consider a sacrifice there. Pawn here, pawn g5, bishop h4, knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. You've got a pin. But he can bring up another knight to support it. It's well defended. I don't think you're going to be able to exploit the pin and get enough advantage out of it to uh, make it worthwhile. Um, but I can play uh, queen to d2, putting more pressure on h6. He can play king h7, which weakens the uh, f, <clears throat> the f7 pawn. So there are ideas. Okay, oh, he's moving the knight out of the way. That often means that he's thinking of playing the move f7 to f5. I think, um, you know, I'm a little better developed over here. I don't want to move the g-pawn. I want to keep the knight out of the square f4, so this g-pawn is doing a good job that way. I am putting pressure on h6 right now. Hmm, he went with g5. Okay, that's a bit strange because now he can't really think about... Well, he can think about it. It's, it's, uh, it's still playable to play f7 to f5. But he can't take back with a pawn. I guess that's the point. Okay, so I could go knight h7 to g4. If I take, he takes, bishop takes, the queen moves... And uh, this knight is a bit loose here. Let's um, <laughs> put my queen here. This is just a little trap. I'm threatening knight takes. 
and then he takes back with a pawn and then I can take his uh, his knight with my queen so he should probably just retreat the knight and he does okay so now what can I do takes takes there's still a sacrifice here takes takes and bishop takes but I still don't see the follow-up okay I'm gonna try this knight h7 to uh, g4 maneuver and if he plays um, <clears throat> f7 to f5 I'm just gonna take it think because I don't want him pushing ahead um, I just realized though it does open up potentially this diagonal for him so um, I would like to play knight to e4 here continuing to block this uh, e pawn I guess I can play that knight to e4 bishop takes bishop takes she takes here, queen takes, or pawn takes. Yeah, so he can go in there. So I can take the knight. Check. And take the bishop. Is that good to take the bishop, though? That's kind of his, his, his not-so-good bishop. play my queen here so he could take my knight and I take back um, his h pawn is hanging yeah so he defends that and now can I get rid of this bishop somehow just thinking uh... <clears throat> hmm. or here's an idea Bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes, and the threat is knight to uh, d6. Ah, but this bishop covers it. Covers d6. Mm, let's see, if I play f4 here, takes, I take it just opens up uh, this line that's not good for me hmm so somehow let's let's bring the rick over <clears throat> somehow I need to get more more pieces or get better organized with my pieces maybe regroup knight to um, d2 bishop to uh, e4 maybe is an idea except the knight on E4 it does look good, but what is it doing there? Let's see, if I play H4 and he takes, I could take on H6. And if he doesn't take, then I can take. It might be useful. So h4, suppose he takes my knight instead. I take back. Well, then I gain this square, these light squares around his king. Might be good for me. If I were black, let's see. Let's look at it from black's point of view. Black just needs to get his knight into the game. Knight to d7 to uh, f6 is probably a good idea. <laughs> there he goes. So if I play um, h4 now, and he plays knight f6, I take with the knight. Uh, he takes with the queen because he wants to defend the square. And I can take the pawn. Pawn takes, bishop takes. Um, I think that's good. And if he takes, I will take on h. Um, 
six. Okay, so he took the bishop first. I mean, he took the knight first, and then he goes there with his knight. Yeah, so he got rid of my knight first, and then he played knight f6. That's good, good maneuver. So I need to defend it. And get my queen out of check. I was just wondering if it's safe to go here or if I should drop back to f3. I guess it didn't matter. Because I was going to get pulled over here anyway. So now he can just take this pawn. And I don't know who that's good for. <laughs> it's probably good for black. Pawn takes. If I take back, uh, I've opened up the g file here. And I've got a weak f pawn. Of course, the g-file is open on his king as well. Yeah. See, I was planning to take this um, h-pawn. So if I play queen to g6 now, threatening the h-pawn, he can take here. And I take threatening checkmate, right? <clears throat> and he can't lift his rook to chase my queen away. That's, that's an important thing. But he could play queen to f6. That might be good enough. Yeah. Okay, let's go this way. Takes, takes, takes. And then he can take on g6. Yep. So I need to take back. But that does, that hits his bishop. So he's got a better pawn structure because my pawn is isolated, but um, but maybe uh, it's not so bad. Oh, that's just a mistake. He left his um, bishop hanging. Unless he's got a way to... Black resigns. Yeah, he doesn't, doesn't have a way to attack them both. So, um, okay, well, I will upload this and do a postmortem. I thought Black was defending uh, pretty well and maybe even had the advantage. Uh, so we'll take a look at that in the postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.